Hello, this is Secret Force 25. You might have seen another guide or me on the stream maybe, hopefully. And this guide is gonna be about tips and tricks how to obtain specific resources faster than other people might be able to. So we start off with some basic resource. First of all, Sparks of Transgression. If you go to Dankert Island, which is the very very first open region, you will be able to farm Sparks of Transgression the fastest. How to do so is very easy. It takes two to three minutes, it's really not that much longer. You don't want to do it right at the beginning, but a bit later on when you are in the game. So, once you've finished Anchor the Island, you can redo it. Every time you go change the region once you're finished and come back here, you will be able to do it again. How long does it take? I mean, I one shot every creature. I can go do the mission instantly and each mission gives me 6 sparks of transgression if I'm premium and 4 without it. In total you can get 45 if you're lucky without premium or 60 if you have premium. Um, but that's the total amount. Usually you get 30 to 45. 30 without premium, 45 with premium. But it doesn't. It takes like 2 or 3 minutes till you're done. If you have premium, it's even easier. You finish it, you port back, you can uh, give it in and change the regions, and you're done. Usually, do that between the PvP queues, and you do need a lot of sparks of transgression. I can tell you to unlock classes to switch builds. So yeah, it's really recommended to do this way. The next one is before you hit 36,000 prestige to farm class bugs or sparks of evolution, depending on if you have premium or not. You can go to Port Naori, you do the easiest difficulty that still gives you a reward. For me, I'm already too high, no difficulty gives me a reward, so I can't show you. But you go to the easier difficulty, if it still has a reward there, and if it does give you a reward, the creatures will drop. What you do is you run straight to the first boss, you kill him, you loot, you get around 20 sparks, the class sparks each time you do that. Um, it's very fast, the whole run takes like 2 minutes maybe. If you do it, it's important to be on Dankert Island, because Dankert Island pretty much is a very very small region, has not that many people, so the loading time of getting back into Dankert Island and Naori port is shorter than if you would be, for example, on the Divine Observatory, where are a lot of people. So, that's how you farm Sparks of Transgression and Class Sparks. How do you farm Colored Sparks. Colored Sparks, you can either do solo adventures, Satan Rift has a nice value, you have to go by the time. Usually it's more recommended to do the easier difficulties, because I get 8 pages on very easy, 12 on impossible. That's not that much more, and it takes just a lot more time. So just go with the easier, don't be, feel ashamed or anything, it's just way faster to farm stuff. The other um, possibility is either you do this alone, or you, if you want to farm in group, you go to Far East Test area. You see, I get 90 of those racing cards or racing tickets. If you join, you can join alone, which is very important. If you do it in a group, you will say, "Oh, we have different rewards." But if you go in alone, you can change your reward. You see, 90 tickets. All you have to do is. You do not leave with F11 like you are used to, but you have to exit with space on this console to actually, it counts as if you would have finished this adventure. So, now I get zero of the tickets because I got a D, I failed the mission. It takes like 10 seconds to do this. And it changes the reward. You can do that as many times as you want till you have the reward that you want. It might be a bit slower than solo farming, but it's totally less boring to do so. So, that's a nice way to farm in a group. And it can, if you have a good group, it will be actually faster than solo. If you are, for example, a paladin, like slow classes compared to fast classes, in total, you will be faster with forest test area. So that's a nice way to farm sparks of insight. Or whatever you want to farm, actually, you can farm it here. So, what else do we have? We have 
Once you are above 36,000, you will have anomalies. It's called hostile territories. On those anomalies, you will be able to farm class bugs the fastest compared to not port Nori. Being hostile territories, anomalies will be faster. So, what else do we have? We can farm items. Depending on the version that is there, you might be able to farm a Ristol's farm. Before it was possible, they fixed it recently. So, as I said, it, it depends on the version that we will get on the open beta in Europe or NA. If we have an older version, you can farm 4 items in 2 minutes. You do this by failing this mission. Once you're inside, you will have an objective of saving 8 farmers and to not let Aristotle die, which is another guy. But if you are inside, you activate it. Just talk with him like normally. And then you will have creatures spawn. Those creatures will kill you. You stay dead till the objective is done, till they killed all farmers. And once they killed all farmers and Aristotle, you will be revived and you will have finished the adventure already. When you do this, you get four items. Most of them will be, most of the time, blue or green. So that's a nice way to farm items. It's not about farming prestige, but about credit. I will not finish this because it's fixed here already, so there's no point in doing this. But why would you want to farm items? If they don't have your item level, what you can do with them is farm credit. Meaning, you have a cap, you have a currency credit cap. So what you want to do is, you don't loot anything except of boss fights, because boss fights don't give you credit itself. If you loot credit from normal creatures, for example, it will be a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you loot 100 credit, 100 credit will be gone. What happens if you have a white item? If you have a white item, it, if you right-click and disassemble it, it will count 100 towards your credit cap, if you see. 229. If I disassemble the item, I will get a rank 1 enhancement stones, and it's only 129. So what's the difference from farming items compared to credit itself? If I sell this, there's no player to player trading, but a market. So the more people buy something, the higher the value. The price of rank 1 enhancement stones is currently at 263. So I get 2.63 times the amount of credit by farming white items compared to looting credit. So you don't want to loot anything except of boss fights, because creatures can do tro drop trophies, which is also a static value, which counts one to one towards your credit cap, or credit itself, which is one to one to your credit cap. Boss fights don't drop credit, they only drop items. An item is an enhancement stone, enhancement stones don't have static values um, on the market, so you can sell them for more than it counts to your, towards your credit cap. Each enhancement stone is the higher the rank, the higher the static value. It always gets multiplied by 3. So rank 1 is 100, rank 2 is 300, rank 3 is 900, and rank 4 is 2700, or 2.7k. So rank 4 enhancement stone counts 2.7k from your credit cap, but it sells for 8.5k. That's a huge difference. Also, combining rank 3 to rank 4 would cost you 3 of rank 3 enhancement stones, so that's in total almost 7000, plus 900 combinement cost, so that's 7.9k, but I get 8.5k from that one stone that I get. So in, to in total it's worth it, but it always depends on the price, I can't give you now, you have to combine that and that. You have to calculate it for yourself, and do the math correctly, like rank 2 to rank 4 is not worth it for me because the combinement cost would neglect the reward, the gain that I would gain from it. So you have to do the math if you want to min max. And it's really recommended to min max because out of the 500k credit cap can be 2 million credits, for example, depending on the price, of course. So what else is there? There's a the main story quest line that you want to do because it gives you medium replicator sets. Those medium replicator sets, you see here for example, that's a fake one. Um, they will give you 170 Argents. 170 Argents 
is, I think, 140,000 credit. Or 27,000 credit. Let's see. 25,000. Yeah, so that's what you get from each medium replicator set. And the ma uh, main storyline will give you like three medium replicator sets that you can sell instantly. So that's a lot of money you can gain from doing the quests. In total, I think you can get like 60 of those. So it's insane amount. Don't right click them. Really sell them because it's really not worth it using the replicator sets. If you sell them, you get a lot of money. If you use them, you waste a lot of money. So, um, despite of that, what can you do? Once you hit higher prestige, the group adventures will have purple uh, items. Once you unlock Targo Island, you can go there. You want to use this in a group because it's a group adventure. Even so, it's very easy mode. the loading time is that long. Even though it's on easy mode, it will still take a while. I would most likely die. So what you do once you're inside, you go to this area down there. No creature is aggressive, everything is passive here, except of one petrol that I will most likely not encounter. So once you're here, you will hit that creature and there will be those copper spawning. See it does a lot of damage so you want a group for it. So once you kill those three copper groups there will be a boss spawning. That boss is the easiest in this whole group adventure. And this boss you kill over and over again to farm purple amulets. So that's how you farm purple amulets. Purple rings you will get in the raid, depending on the version of the raid. You can either skip completely to the first boss without killing anything, or almost anything. Or, which I can show you as well, here, yeah, I can show you the way. Um, if it's a newer version, it will not work again because they changed it already. When you go in here... You want to kill this one, the solo one, because it might bug out the boss if you don't. Go along the side. You want to kill the solo one as well. I didn't have to pull it, I didn't mean to pull it, but yeah, it happens. Go here. You want to kill that solo guy there as well. Go past it. And you kill that solo guy there. Go past this on the side. And then there would have been the jump pad to the first boss. Once you're there, you kill him, and then you reset. That's how you farm purple rings, if it's not fixed by then. So, what else can you farm? I showed you how to farm credit. I showed you how to farm sparks, Vincent, class sparks, particle of mastery. You just get them by finishing adventures on the side. Tactical sense. You farm them with the uh, purple rings together in the raid. The other resource has no trick to it either. Um, yeah, I think that's everything in general of how to squeeze stuff. Um, Speedruns of different adventures I will have uploaded soon. Um, Speedruns of the nether test area it takes like 8 minutes, you can farm it fairly fast. Um, stuff like that. I will show you. Oh, one last thing is, if you have, uh, you will sometimes get an objective or a mission, a quest, 
to unlock a new talent slot that will require you to kill specific amounts of creatures with a specific class. You want to do that in combat training. Everything of a mission that might, um, that is a general mission, kill a specific amount of creatures in a short time, something like that, do this in combat training because there's an area with only small creatures and they respawn almost instantly. So, um, yeah, if you want to farm just blue weapons, you want to do either Port Naori, Kairos, the first boss, or you want to do, um, uh, what is it called? Tornoy's Camp, the first boss, because it's right there as well. Or if you want to farm items, if the trick with Aristotle's farm is not working, you do Narion's Castle, because it only takes 6 minutes for 4 items as well, I think. So, um, there you go. That's pretty much a lot of tricks I showed you right there. Hope you enjoyed it, hope it helps you a bit. And if you liked it, check out the other guides or my stream on twitch.tv slash secretforce25. Hope to see you there and bye.